Namaste. Morning. Last time I talked about the general principles and benefits of the Viparita Karani Mudra. So today let me teach you some other internal techniques you can do together with that. All right, so Nabho Mudra is where we seal the surface of the tongue against the heart palate and create a gentle suction as you inspire the breath in. And relaxing the bottom lip and let your bottom teeth relax too. All right. Next would be the internal drishti, or you can uh, do internal Shambhavi Mudra as well. So together with the Nabhu Mudra, lift your eyebrows up. So literally, you have to lift your eyebrows up yeah, to energize the optic nerves, yeah, and then close your eyes, but keep your gaze looking up while you do your Nabhu Mudra. And this is done during the inhalation, inhaling. When you exhale, you may relax your seal, relax the eyes. While you're in, Viparita Karani Mudra. Breathing in, breathing out. All right. Third, the yeah, internal visualization. So because our energy works in circular pattern, I've talked about that. So picture when you're inverted, when your hips up in the air. So picture your breath. Picture the energy from your hips, from the pelvis, descend and pierces the navel, and then from the navel pierces the chest through you know, the bottom of the ribs, and then from there to the hollow of the throat, the back of the neck, entering the skull, loops up here, and down the forehead, and exits through the nose. So it's like that, circular motion. You can visualize that. You will also be feeling the sensation of the breath, actually. So from the hips, the breath is warm, descending down. As it passes the chest, it becomes little warmer and then the throat it becomes humming uh, still warm but soothingly warm and inside the brain it's actually cooling yeah, the and you're gonna feel as well yeah your external body become like uh, not cold but you feel like the the limbs are draining you know, and then you can you can meditate upon those sensations. So those are the techniques you can practice when we do the Viparita Karani. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So let's review our principles. Yeah. Practicing using a smooth um, a cushion elevation. Yeah. And let the head rest there. And then just moving to a side to side. Yeah. Tucking Mahavid Mahamudra and softening and adjust. Yeah, you may do a mild swaying like this, just to move the hips. Good. All right, now, tap, you know, find that angle again. Good. Inhaling, Good. from here to rise the hips, you may move your legs past first, so you can adjust the shoulders and the neck. All right. And lifting your legs up, so you can see your toes in front of you. Yeah, and then the spine is not perfectly to the vertical. There is a 60 degree angle. All right, now when here, dry the mouth. Yeah, and then you might perform the Navajo seal already. Lifting your eyebrows, looking between the eyebrows, and then close your eyes. You may retain one or two seconds. On the exhalation, relax the seal. You may lightly open your eyes or keep your eyes uh, closed. Good. And then you practice again, this time adding you know, the visualization you know, from the hips. You know, feel the energy descend to your belly, from the belly to the chest, the hollow of the throat. You're know, looping the back of the skull up to the crown of the head. And you're running to your forehead. In the center of the eyebrows and exhale. Hmm. All right. Can we do a jai in Viparita Karani? Yes, certainly. Yeah. yeah. And you can do the seal as well. Yeah, when you do your ujjayi pranayama. But when you do the seal in ujjayi pranayama, the movement of the tongue is slightly different. The Ushai Pranayama, the tongue will move slightly backwards. Yeah? Good. And then to finish the practice, release the seal and dry the mouth. Good. Inhale. Keep looking between the eyebrows, this time externally. 
when the hips are closed. Yeah, rolling down, support, lifting the head. Good, and then keep your spine you know, close, yeah, supported. All right before you lay your head down. All right, free your prop. Yeah, inhale with the inner banda. And exhale, relax the banda and relax the body. But you can keep the Nabhu Mudra inside. Yeah, piercing the breath of the sinuses. Have the forehead and exhale. And you recover here, maybe five, uh, mindful breathing. After that, hugging the knees, lifting the head, uh, the Mahamudra, and then shifting one side. And then here, you may rest and just to open the back. Uh, you may do the twist if you feel the shoulders heavy. Uh, and then after that, uh, back to the center and then change. And then open to a twist, maybe. So feel. Yeah? So when you're recovering, so do some reclining stretches yeah, to bring uh, your body back. And the center. All right, from there, you, know, you might rub the low back up and down like this. Yeah, circle round. But if you're doing another round, you might do your flow and set. Now, uh, from there, um, you can do the flapping fish. Yeah, this one. Good. One side. Yeah. After that, the other side. And then I suggest you do a back bend, maybe a gentle one like this, because people eat the karani, say. You know, flexion, so just open the disc of our spine. Or you can do the Ustrasana. You can just flow your vinyasa. The upward dog, down facing dog sequence would be enough to counter the, stru to counter the Viparita Karani. Yeah. And then you do another round if you're doing another round. Or if not, you know, just do your sitting position. All right, in the sitting position, mm -hmm. I suggest you finish with uh, the chant. Yeah, the Om, yeah, because the Om, you know, what it does, the, it unclogs yeah, the energetic blockages yeah, we hold in the neck and yeah, the throat and yeah, the Viparita Karani because it's a flexion. So it, you might feel the need to loosen yeah, stagnation there. Uh, through, and chanting the Om yeah, is helpful for us to drain the excess energy. So inspire the breath in, lifting your forehead up. Yeah, really, yeah, lifting. Om. Relax your forehead as you chant it, and you will feel the need to release the exhale air out like a gentle simhasana. Dry them out. You can seal Nabho. And as you chant, relax the seal. Om. And let the seal become a vibration, a sound. And you repeat that again. Yeah. Or maybe three, yeah. or you can go as many as that, nine repetitions. So when you chant the Om, say it softly, but uh, I say penetrating, yeah, rich, and really uh, full resonance. Yeah. Om. You don't have to shout it. Yeah, and just do it intently, mindfully, and the sealing of the tongue together with the breath and the awareness lifting up. It's a really good way to prepare you so when you, you know, chant the Om, you know, the vibration comes out rich and full and penetrating. Good. So those are the techniques. Those are the internal mudras and some other internal skills and techniques you can practice alongside your Viparita Karani Mudra. Good. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.